doing a home soil pH test here, I feel that this is probably the best way to just go ahead and get regular readings on your pH. I'm doing it because I'm trying to maintain my soil pH high enough to prevent moss. I live in western Washington, so moss is a big problem here. So I'm using distilled water, and I just poured it into that cup there because I'm using that to rinse off my probe after I do my testing. So I'm setting my scale there to grams, and I'm going to be measuring in grams, and I'm going to zero it out and measure out 30 grams of soil, and then I'm going to use fresh, clean, distilled water, and I'm going to measure out 30 grams of water, distilled water. And the key here is, is you just want to make sure you use equal parts of soil and water so you can get the most accurate reading. And, and the key here is if you're going to do this consistently, you know, it's best to do the same testing each time. If you do 30 grams and 30 grams, you know, the next time you do it, do 30 grams and 30 grams. You know, if you want to do a cup of soil and a cup of water, you can do that. Uh, the basic you know, message here is, is that you need to do equal parts. So I've let my mixture sit for 30 minutes and I've come back here with my pH meter. And, you know, this is only, you know, $25 on Amazon. And I'm just going to let it settle. And it's going to settle down and end up reading about 5.8, which matches my soil kit using Malik 3 testing. Uh, exactly, 5.8. There you go. Simple way, soil testing pH.